The last time I shot this film outdoors, I got some fabulous results with natural light. It got me thinking how this film would handle indoors with natural light and then outdoors with my Profoto lighting kit. Big shout out to Evie for reaching out for this shoot. There was no way I was going to miss an opportunity to shoot in this mansion. Let's see how the shoot went down. All images were shot at box speed with the same shutter speed, aperture, and this time shot different setups and frames. As mentioned before, changing the light intensity would be something I would need to do so very, very carefully. As always, I was trying to get the most consistent results possible. We got a little bit more creative with the shots as the shoot progressed. The word out there is that Kodak Gold generally tends to gravitate towards warmer tones with slightly more granular images in comparison with Portra 160. Be sure to check out my shoot with Fadil which I dropped a few weeks back to see the differences with the drop today. It goes without saying that metering for these films is essential unless you have a bottomless pit of money. I was using my Siconic L308X. Kodak Gold has a slightly wider dynamic range but generally you don't want to go too far from about three to four stops to be on the safe side. This is certainly more important when shooting outdoors without guaranteed consistency of light. The shot of Evie and Sammy with the natural light coming in through the window show the capabilities of Kodak Gold in low light indoor conditions. You can see from the first image that here there's a slight green overcast on the far left with a darker one in the shadows to the right of the window. Even so, the warm colours with shadows gives a real classic look and feel. As the light poured through the window a little more intensely this afternoon, it hit on those light pinks in Sammy's dress and softened the whiteness of Evie's dress. It almost gave her a Bridgerton-esque sort of feel. This image was certainly going to be a keeper. Next we stepped up and got to use the beautiful garden golden chair stroke hammock. I set up the Profoto light to the left of the frame and had Evie sat on the suspended chair with Sammy stood to her left. After a few manual adjustments of the lighting and working through some poses I ended up freezing this look and I was amazed by the outcome. I love the richness of the colour from the grass in the foreground to the trees in the background but without a doubt the pose and colours from the dresses and the chair stroke hammock this image is a real standout one. I shot a few more with Evie alone on the hammock. Each time the rendition of the image on Kodak Gold has hit the sweet spot. If only you could see this while you're shooting. I will definitely have to play more with lights and this film stock to see how it performs in other conditions. We drifted out to the garden area and shot this in natural light. The balance of colours throughout is consistent although the brilliantly white dress isn't as well captured and I wonder if that's something to do with the scanner or some other reason. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. The afternoon light was drifting away and so was my time in the shoot so rather quickly we decided to take these two images with the Profoto lights. A little overexposed, which can certainly be fixed in Lightroom. It's almost as if Evie has been superimposed onto a background. A film light would have certainly complemented this image and note for the next shoot. A quick change into the pink dress and a couple of shots with Evie sat outside the garden patio. The lesson here is that having an external light source certainly guarantees the image will come out as long as it's well metered. By this point, I do think that Kodak Gold would really have struggled to do anything Thing, and I wasn't going to risk it, especially with an opportunity to shoot in such an environment. It doesn't happen every day, so I was going to make sure I got the image. Overall, my favourite shots were with Evie and Sammy sat indoors with a natural afternoon light piercing through. The best image for me would be of them both together in the garden, seeing this film work indoors without off-camera flash and then outside with on-camera flash has been very beneficial. Certainly with the right subjects and correct metering throughout, Kodak Gold will perform consistently. My brief experience with this film stock is getting me to wonder Kodak Gold may just be a cheaper and equally well performing as Portra 160. Do you really need to spend almost 25% more for incremental sharpness? Tell me what you think in the comments below. The summer is going to be coming into full swing and I would love to connect or collaborate with you if you're in London. Shoot me up a comment and let's set something up. Thank you for watching all my videos. Do go ahead and comment below. Have you shown with the Bronica Senza ETRS or 6x45 or Kodak Gold. I would love to hear your thoughts on this shoot, the images, how would you have shot them, what were your likes and dislikes about them, what would you recommend that I shoot with next. Be sure to check out my shoot with Fadilla on Kodak Gold 2 and I'll see you on there.